Hello and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeliner CRM, joining you from San Diego. And today I am delighted to be joined by Shiv Gupta, who is in New Delhi in India. How are you doing, Shiv? I am doing great, John. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And Shiv is from Incrementors. Uh, dot com is the company and what we're going to talk about today is why the secret to business success is setting the right goals so um shiv let's jump straight into it right this is the time of year often when people are setting they're setting quarterly goals or setting annual goals all of that so goal setting mm -hmm. is a big topic right now but what what do people first of all what do people do wrong when they're setting goals like uh, and what and then we'll move into what they should be doing uh, there are a couple of things which I've seen, like which people do incorrectly. For instance, uh, when I talk to some people, right, what are your goals, what are your vision? Most of them, they are not even aware about, right, what they want to achieve or what they want to do. Mm -hmm. And even uh, some of them, when they know that what they want to do, I just get some vague answers. Uh, they say, I just want to increase the revenue of my business or I just want to lose weight. But the thing is, you cannot measure it and if you cannot measure something you cannot achieve that correct so what i feel is whenever uh, you set a goal right at the end of the time period for whatever time you have set that goal the answer should be simple whether it should be a yes or a no were you able to achieve that yes or you were not able to achieve that no but people are very uh, confused about uh, how to set the goals, right? So the most important thing which I have seen is that people don't know how to set the goals and to set it correctly, there is a very simple system. You can also Google it. It's setting the smart goals. So the goal should be specific. They should be measurable. They should be attainable. They should be relevant and they should be time bound. So if whatever goal you are setting is like lies into that category. That means you have set a correct goal. For instance, when I say that I want to increase the revenue of my business or I want to lose weight, that goal is not specific, right? But, or like you can say, even some people would say it is specific because you are saying it for your business or for your body. But then you can clearly see that you cannot measure it. Uh, you are not saying by much how much revenue you want to increase it or by how many kgs or pounds you want to decrease your weight, right? So if you put all these items and put a tick mark, whether your goal uh, is uh, like fine with all these five items, that means you have set a correct goal. So the most, uh, like uh, the, the biggest problem which I see is people don't know how to set the goals correctly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I think uh, generally speaking, a lot of people like will set goals, as you said, I mean, they will, I mean, they may be specific, they may say, we're going to set this as our revenue target or whatever. And yeah, it may be, it may be measurable, because obviously, something like revenue is very measurable. Mm -hmm. But whether it's attainable, whether, you know, all the other things are in place um, for it. Uh, I think that's the part where people often stop at the, they think, a go, uh, they stop at the S in many ways, and they just set a, what they think is a specific goal, but they don't set either the measurements, like revenue is easy, but on other areas, you know, they don't set the measurement in place. They don't figure out well, how attainable it is or what stretch they should put in. And so you end up with goals that may be specific, but that's about it. That's right. Even uh, when I talk to some of the clients, they say, okay, this year I want to 5x my business or I want to 10x my business. And when we check their previous stats, their business was stagnant from the past couple of years, right? So for them, that 5x or 10x is not that much attainable, right? So they need to set priorities, right? They need to set goals, right? Because there are a lot of things which need to be done to achieve that kind of target. When you have a winning team, then it's easy to uh, like uh, achieve 5x, 10x, or maybe 100x, right? But in such scenarios where the company is stagnant, where things are struggling, they cannot set these type of goals. So yes, goal should be 
attainable. In that case, it, it can be maybe increasing the uh, turnover by 80% or profit margin by 100%, something like that. But you cannot just all of a sudden say, okay, I want to win the world, right? It doesn't happen that way. And a lot of people, what happens is they set such a big goal that they know that they won't be able to achieve at all. And that goal doesn't excite them. Instead, it feels like pressure. And that's when after a month, like after trying for a month or two, they just stop trying to achieve that goal. Yeah. So that's another problem that I have seen. Yeah, and I think one of the other issues too is uh, when people, uh, as you said, when people set big goals and big goals are fine, uh, you know, it's good to be, it's it's good to to stretch yourself and that, but you set big goals, but they don't set the steps to achieve that goal, right? So you can't That's make true. sure, like you say, if you set a big goal for yourself and then you look at it after a month and you go, oh my goodness, I'm so far away from that. I'm never going to, but if you have set, if you have that big goal, but you have set incremental goals, at least then you can measure progress towards it. That's right. That's absolutely correct. So uh, for instance, if I'm saying, okay, I want to lose my weight by 10 kgs in the next six months, right? So just saying that won't, reduce my weight at all right i need to see how i go, how, how frequently i'm going to measure that and what steps i'm going to take to achieve that for instance i can maybe uh, have a smartwatch or maybe uh, put an app on my like the google fit app is very good app on my mobile device and start tracking my steps and my daily activity the trackable item would be i will be uh, having 10,000 steps in a day, right? So if you are doing that constantly on daily basis, no one is uh, going to uh, stop you from achieving your goal. You will be very easily able to achieve your goal, right? So whatever your goal is, you need to divide that into fragments. You need to see what exactly you are going to do to achieve that and then start doing that. Basically, what I have seen is a lot of people say like they feel when whenever they talk about goal they they feel like oh i wish i could do that or maybe if i'll do half of that i'll be very happy but you should see your goals in terms of commitment that mm -hmm. okay this is my goal and i am committed to this i am going to achieve this right if you if you start thinking in that way and you start feeling committed in that terms even for the first month you are lagging a bit but since you are committed towards it you are going to achieve it so that's how it should be right um yeah no i i i agree with you and i think uh and i think that's the that's the other part about it is it's great to set goals but the the, the accountability part is really really important because okay. that's where you get the commitment even if you feel like you're committed to it if there's no accountability built in uh, you know, then you're more, less likely to do it. It's like if you've got your health or your fitness goals, if you share them with somebody else or you even buddy up with somebody else, it's more likely to happen. And so even in a business context, you have to have, there has to be accountability somewhere. That's right. That's absolutely correct. Even uh, in my uh, personal group, what we have done is like uh, we have set our goals that for instance, for me, it is uh, like for like one of my friend, it is he wants to lose weight, right? Mm -hmm. So for that, what he's going to do is he's going to do exercise 45 minutes daily. Now, he has made me as his accountability partner right. and daily he will go to the gym, send me his pick from there. And if in case he misses that, he will have to pay me $100 each and every time whenever he misses. And I can literally show you my mobile, right? He is sending me pics daily from the place and like, see this, if you could see, see, yeah. he's standing there. And after that, uh, one sec, like he's sending me pics almost daily, his steps, like if you could see him, see, yeah, yeah, even yeah. at night, he had to go to uh, the exercise because he knew that I literally take that money out of his pocket if he <laughs> won't be able to achieve that. So the concept of accountability partner or uh, uh, handling accountability is very, very important because it encourages you that what I have seen is human brain is very smart. We come up with lots of excuses, right? Even though we know that this thing is going to benefit me 
right or my family but still we come up with excuses but if you have some accountability partner who has some uh, benefit behind it he is going to make sure that whether either you do it or pay the price right yeah. so it's so like i have found that this concept is really very really awesome yeah no it is and i think even in a, in a business context there has to be something there has to be some consequence uh you know to not reaching your goals uh, and not doing the things that you're supposed to do to reach your goals and there needs to be some incentive when you do achieve them so there has to be there has to be that balance uh that's right and how we can integrate the balance into it is a very crucial step so what we do in our organization is we try to align the why of that person with the goals of the organization like if you want to grow your business so why do you want to grow your business whether it is to support your family or whether it is to buy uh, passive in, or like buy another real estate or maybe have passive income so align your why why do you want to do that and while doing the work make sure you are taking out time to do whatever you wanted to do so for instance if i uh, like want to expand my business to live a life of freedom or travel around the world so i should uh, celebrate those things as well because if mm. i'll only keep on working and working then I, eventually i'll get demotivated so what happens is uh, how we do is we set up a bigger goal and after that divide that into fragments of years and months the short term goals and long term goals because once you have your vision clear once you know your why and after that you divide your goals then it keeps you motivated and once you are motivated it becomes very easy to to do things to wake up in the morning and get things done because there are times like a day or two when people feel or maybe months for some in some cases where people don't feel like going anywhere or don't feel like doing anything but you have set goals correctly then you will be highly motivated to go and do something each and every day and for those type of goals they should be aligned with your long term vision so that you keep running after those goals keep achieving them and keep delivering or like like impacting the life of others yeah i know it's a, it's it's a great point and and i think uh, that's that's one of the most crucial points is that uh when we set goals and new new things that we want to achieve we're all excited at the beginning right it's it's great and setting the goals is exciting but there will be motivation dips and you have to and you have to plan for how you're going to tackle those motivation dips because they were they will happen that's right but if we have a good accountability partner yeah exactly. those motivation dips never come <laughs> exactly if it's going to cost you 100 dollars a, a pop yeah exactly <laughs> Uh, but it's good it's it is a it is a good point though because you know motivation is 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 such a fluid thing you know um, as i said you can start off highly motivated maybe you have a few setbacks or as we said at the beginning maybe the goal then just looks so big when you actually start out and it just seems so far away that um, approaching it like having accountability partners having measuring the steps towards those goals all of that is critically important just to keep you motivated that's right yeah. and then when you when you work with, when you work uh, within your organization or with other organizations um how do you how do you help them like i know you got the the smart goals but um how do you how do you help them figure out what's attainable what is a stretch goal and what's unattainable because i think that's sometimes where people struggle you know they don't want to set something that is too easy to get to um but they want to set something that is attainable. It might take a lot of hard work to get there. And then some people want to set a stretch goal, so they put it even further away. And then some people put ones that are just totally unattainable. But what's what's the what's the sweet spot, do you think? So the sweet spot here is we ask them to answer this, like what you should achieve this year? What you could achieve this year right so the goal like for instance if i say that last year my my revenue was uh, 100000 dollars 
right mm -hmm. so this year i should be able to have at least 20 30% profit so i should be able to achieve 120 or 130000 dollars but like like i would be very happy if i could do 300000 dollars right? right so between these two lines you should set your goal so that's how we start the conversation with some of our clients to set their goals correctly that what they can easily achieve what would be awesome for them if they achieve that right and now how committed they are and what kind of achievement they want to see at the end of the day even the initial example which i said that company was stagnant for 3 years or 4 mm -hmm. years they they still can do 5x or 10x but they need to have that kind of commitment it it all comes down to the how, commitment and how committed they are towards achieving that goal right because like success for success you need to pay the price of it right and most of the people they 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 love success they want to be successful but they don't want to pay the price mm -hmm. of it right that's sure. that's the that's the uh, area where the main thing lies right you will have to pay the price of it you will have to have those sleepless nights and you'll have to wake up early in the morning to strategize and think about how you want to proceed further and take uh, difficult decisions you will have to do all those things yeah no i think that's a i think that's a great point um, and i think one great one for people to take on board is that you have to ask, you have to be really uh, honest with yourself uh, as you right. said and and your team or whatever and say like are we are we prepared to put in the work to achieve this and if not then you know maybe we're going to have to reduce our goals maybe we're going to have to set different targets or you know maybe we need new people who knows um but but i think that but i think that honest conversation is 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 critically important about yeah i want to do this but am i prepared to take because everything you do comes with certain consequences and i'm prepared for those consequences and i'm I, am i going to embrace them or am i going to you know am i going to reject them mm -hmm. that's right and uh, what i have seen is in some of the organizations and we have tried this as well we set accountability chart that okay we want to achieve this now what if we need to work on weekends what if something bad comes up what if we see another wave of corona so how we are going to tackle all those situations right so you cannot predict all the situations but what happens with this exercise is they start the, the mind, there is a mindset shift they start mm -hmm. thinking in that way that okay whatever problem comes we need to achieve this and your goal whatever your goal is whatever your vision is you you should speak that again and again in front of everyone in all your conversations to remind everyone that okay we want to achieve this and we will achieve this this is very important even whenever i want to do something i just literally tell that to everyone okay this year i'm going to do this this quarter i'm going to do this right if i fail i'm here in front of you and in most of the cases i just achieve achieve that goal <laughs> Yeah, no, I think that's I, I think that's perfect. I, I love that the accountability chart idea. Um, so listen, uh, listen, Shiv, this has been fantastic. And all Shiv's information will be below this video. But before we go, please do tell people a little bit more about you, your company, and what you do. Yeah, so uh, like as you know, my name is Shiv, and uh, I am the growth strategist and founder of Incrementers, and we help people in getting more sales. traffic and leads online we are into digital marketing space so we help them with search engine optimization pay per click email marketing email automation and coming up with unique and creative strategies to increase their uh, their overall sales and visibility online that's how we do and to reach out to me uh, you can either visit my website which is www.incrementers.com it's i n c r e m e n t o r s.com or you can check me out on my youtube channel you can just type shiv gupta seo or shiv gupta incrementers to find me on youtube fantastic uh, listen thanks again shiv this has been fantastic thanks everybody for watching and listening and i'll see you all for another interview really soon thank you